Hey everyone, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com and the Samsung Galaxy S4 has so many software features I had to do a separate video just to show them all. Let's take a look at it now. Let's start with the lock screen. Once I start it up, you see the little flash of light and that's a little thing that follows you around when you go on your finger and you swipe across the screen. You can actually edit what comes on the lock screen. So if I press and hold down, I can add widgets, I can change shortcuts, all other things. But if you want to change the text, you can go here. You can change the actual text. You can change the font, the color that's displayed. So I'll do that really quick and change this to yellow. And then I'll save it. And when I go back, you see the background has changed. Uh, also, if I want to go directly to an app, like let's say I want to launch the camera, all I have to do is tap on the camera and swipe up, and it goes there. When you go into settings for the lock screen, you can change security settings. You can uh, change which apps appear on the lock screen for shortcuts, and you can add widgets and other things. Another great feature about the notification panel is that I have this list of shortcuts of settings that I commonly access that I can get to very easily. I can just swipe through and a cool thing here is that Samsung has made this customizable and expanded it. So if I tap on the button in the top right corner, I can get to all of the settings that I commonly turn on and off. So if I want to turn sync back on, I don't have to go within a mountain of menus. And what's even better is that if I tap this edit button right here, I can actually change the order of the notification panel. So if you're someone who likes to vacillate between air view now and then, you can change the order. You can put air gesture towards the top and then sync towards the top. And you can do things like that to easily get it just the way that you like and you prefer. So now that I have air view enabled, let's test it out for a way. When I go into the email app, I can browse through certain applications and if I hover over it, it gives me a quick preview of the email. So rather than having to actually browse through the entire message, I can just take a quick look at something, hold my finger over it, and the message will appear. Now there are several other apps that this work with. It doesn't work with every single app that you download, but there are a few. For instance, when you go into the gallery app, okay, I hold my finger over Wait, okay, I didn't get the thumbnail. So as you see, it's not an exact science. There will be some times when things don't quite go your way, but typically when you hold your finger over it, you get a preview of that folder. All right, let me see if this, and it works for the Picasa folders that you have stored. These are, aren't actually locally stored folders. Only these are the locally stored images, and it still works uh, when you have sync with your Google Plus slash Picasa images. So that's one way of seeing it in the gallery. And it actually works in music as well. So if I hold my finger over music, I can get a preview of the additional information related to that song. Let me see if this, okay, one final thing I'll show you with regarding AirView. When you use Flipboard, uh, now they say that they have no confirmation that there's going to be an SDK for this, but there will be third-party apps that Samsung works with in order to support AirView. And that's a cool feature because, as you can see in Flipboard, I can get a preview of the articles that I'm going to read, get more information without having to actually go within that section. So no, no third-party, easily-to-understand integration yet for AirView, but I have a strong feeling that's something that's going to arrive later. Then there's air gesture, which kind of works similar. It uses the sensor to send commands. So when I'm playing music, I'm right here. But when I swipe forward, it goes to the next song. I swipe, go back. And you can see this is a pretty cool way without to change your music without having to actually unlock the screen. Uh, let's say you're driving or something. If you got it stuck right there on your dashboard, you can just do a quick swipe to change it. It also works in the gallery app. So if I want to go to the next image, all right, let me go this way. So uh, again, this isn't the most practical thing, but if like, let's say you're uh, trying to just do something quick without having to actually touch it, 
Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you want to be a little further away, you have to be within a reasonable distance. It's not going to work from across the room, basically. But if you're close to the device, maybe your hands are wet or something, maybe uh, you're wearing gloves, uh, this is a cool way to do it. You can also control the phone using your voice. So I can say, play. Next. Volume down. Volume down. Pause. Just like that, I can control it with my voice. Now, to master this variety of sensors, settings, and all the other stuff you can do with the Galaxy S4, you're going to want to get familiar with the Settings app. They've broken it down. Rather than have a long list of all the things you can access, it's actually four tabs now. You're going to spend a lot of time in the My Device tab, as well as the More tab. Uh, as far as the gestures and all the other stuff that you can play with, you're going to go to My Device, and you scroll down, and you go to Air View and uh, voice control and motions and gestures. Now, be, be forewarned that if you activate AirView and turn it on and off, that's not enough. You actually need to tap on AirView and make sure you enable all the options for AirView as far as progress, speed dial, and all that other stuff. Now, when you go into motions and gestures, it's the same thing. Uh, with Air Gesture, you need to tap on it, make sure that you have all the options enabled, and the same for motion. Uh, there's one other thing that's pretty cool, and that is Smart Screen. This is where you go to use eye tracking software. Once you have all of these enabled, you can actually set it to recognize when you're no longer looking at the screen. Now, there's going to be caveats to this. Uh, between Smart Stay, Smart Rotation, and all these other things, you'll notice that it says that if you're looking away or if you're in a poor lighting condition it's not going to be as accurate or as good it might not recognize you at all okay now I'm going to attempt to see if smart pause works at the moment there's a lot of light on my face so we shouldn't have any problems with uh, in terms of detection so I start playing I'm looking at the screen I'm gonna look away now and it recognize I'm gonna look back and it starts again as you can see I'm not pressing play I'm just looking away and then looking back. So that's a pretty cool feature. And the moment my hands are completely off the screen, I'm gonna try Smart Scroll. This is basically an eye tracking software that as I tilt my head down, it should recognize that and start to scroll. Once I look up again, it stays in position. When I tilt my head up, it goes back up. When I tilt down, it goes down. Okay, uh, it's not picking up right now, but you saw the earlier demonstration, and that's the, the thing about this. It's not foolproof. It tends to work and stop at times uh, if you have to be in at least decent lighting in order for this to work. If you're in a dark room or you're in moderate lighting, this will not work most of the time. And then you'll have to be lazy and use your fingers. Oh, work. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S4 software. There was a lot of ground covered in here, but this isn't actually the full story. This is just a look at the software. So if you want to see some more about the hardware of the Galaxy S4, as well as see some other software features that I demoed, be sure to watch the video in the link below, as well as the little annotation right here. Anyway, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to click like and subscribe and share it with others, and come back to MobileBurn.com for some more news on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and other devices that are on the market.